Hi there, welcome to Celestial Wedding Planners. It's a pleasure to meet you. Do you have an appointment? Okay, fantastic. Um, if you don't mind, could I just take um, your first name, please? Great, and then your last name, please. Fantastic. Um, I can see you on my system. Um, so you're booked in for initial consultation with myself. Um, so thank you so much for coming along. So just to give you kind of a background to the format of our consultation today, um, I'll be filling out kind of a form with you so we can really uh, help plan the best wedding possible for you. Okay? Great stuff. And the first question that I wanted to ask you was, did you have a certain date in mind? Okay, 6th of August 2022. Fantastic, so we still Got quite a lot of time until then and just out of interest is there a specific reason as to why the 6th of August? Oh it'll be your fifth um, anniversary that is so lovely so I will make sure that we get everything arranged um, to take place that day essentially some people um, have a leeway of a day or two, but as this is such an important day for you both, I think it's really important that the wedding is held definitely on that day. So I will stick to that. That's absolutely fine. And do you have any kind of idea in terms of the venue? Have you looked at a few places or would you like to explore some options with us? So you're not sure but you'd like kind of more countryside based, yeah, okay, fantastic, I'll note that down, um, have a look at that, and that's great, and I'll look, yeah, for the 6th of August 2022, um, fantastic, and what are your wedding must-haves, I'd like to ask you this, because I think they just kind of helps us guide as to how we can plan this for you. Yeah? Okay. Definitely. And I think because it's in summer, I think just having a lot of greenery is really good for pictures and things like that. So definitely I'll look at kind of open spaces that are very beautiful to look at. Essentially, I think that's, that's what you're looking for. You want to have pretty good pictures. And I don't blame you. It's a really important day. How are you feeling so far about it? I'm a bit nervous. It's completely normal, so don't worry. Um, I will try and calm your nerves by helping you plan everything. But honestly, it's completely normal to be a bit nervous. But excited as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, um, yeah, day, amazing day, so that's great. And then looking on the flip side to that question, what are your top um, wedding must not have essentially? Okay. Sure, that makes sense. And um, do you have any theme inspiration photos or Pinterest boards going? Not yet. Okay. So what I would recommend after this consultation is um, maybe create a Pinterest board or get some pictures together um, that you can send across to me and my team so we can kind of have a look and make sure that we plan everything 
in accordance to your themes and things like that. Um, Pinterest is actually a free website to um, make an account with, so you could always use that. I think that's quite interesting, and you could put different images for different parts of your wedding and things like that. Um, so I think I think that's really nice. Um, and do you know if you have, for example, any colours for what you want to do? Not yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, you can work on that. As I said, this is just an initial consultation to kind of get our juices flowing as to what you want on your special day. Um, but that's no worries at all. And then, uh, turning to maybe one of the most important questions. Do you have a particular budget in total or maybe a budget per person? really important question definitely um, so that's completely fine I'll make sure to suggest some options um, that are within your budget don't worry that's absolutely fine and how many people are you planning to invite <laughs> okay that is a lovely number I just um, want to put a word of caution obviously you're free to invite whoever you want um, but as you know with Covid restrictions changing all the time um, there might be a slight um, change of you know number of people that are allowed in venues and things like that so we just have to bear that in mind going forward but at the moment everything is fine there's no restrictions we should be okay but that's just something to bear in mind um, and of course I will ensure to get us some insurance that will help us if there's any kind of Covid cancellations if we need to rebook at a later date but don't worry about that now I just wanted to tell you that because obviously we live in these crazy times now um, so we have to consider everything that's going on and can you tell me a little bit more about your guest list and um, like the kind of people that are part of it so are you having kind of an older crowd a younger crowd so the same sort of age as you that's fair enough um, and are there any older people the only reason i ask about that is if we need to make reasonable adjustments to them and things like that okay perfect. i'll just take that down um these are things maybe you don't think of but as a wedding planner <laughs> i like to think about everything else and yeah in regards to all guests um regardless of age are there any that will have personal challenges that we need to further accommodate um, okay, that's fine, perfect, we'll definitely um, take care of that. And regarding your guest list again, roughly what percentage of your guests will be travelling from out of town? So most of them are local. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that is a good idea, especially as I said with COVID, some people who might be yeah, further out or in a different country may not want to participate because of the situation. So I think it's good to keep it local so everyone can attend essentially um, with a lot of comfort. So that's fantastic. Um, we tend to get kind of smaller guest lists with um, people who want to have their weddings abroad, but you're not going to have that problem, don't worry. It's just I'm more thinking ahead with COVID restrictions, so I don't no need to worry too much about that. Um, and do you plan to kind of arrange any accommodation um, for your guests and things like that, or um, is that not something you plan? I think it's a really good idea to kind of um, perhaps like pre-book certain um, rooms 
um, nearby so that for example um, guests don't feel restricted if they want to have any alcohol things like that they can just stay the night and really enjoy your wedding as well I think that's really good so I can look at some options for that so maybe a hotel nearby to the venue if you decide to get that that's that's fine and um, how do you plan to invite people um, we can offer you a service where we can send um, bespoke um, wedding invitations um, we can also do this online as well if you want to be more environmentally friendly like the traditional letters yeah that's really nice and um, tell me do you intend to have host live entertainment speakers or other presenters um, just so I can make sure that I kind of suggest venues that have the space um, for what you want to plan okay. yeah. you kind of want your know, DJ with kind of a dancing floor kind of area yeah that's completely fine Fantastic. I'll make sure to consider those kind of things um, when looking for a venue. So that's fine. And back to kind of my favourite topic. What food options would you like to offer guests? Okay, so a light lunch to start off with and then a dinner afterwards. Sure. And are you looking for the catering on site as well? Yeah. Actually, a lot of places do have requirements when you book them that you kind of choose a catering on site just to make sure that all the kind of health and safety standards um, take place when preparing your food. Um, if you have any kind of things against that, just let me know and I'll try to look for a venue that doesn't require that but I can do a mix of both if that is a bit easier yeah okay sure that's fine and will you also be supplying beverages so that's alcoholic and non-alcoholic non as well mm -hmm. yeah okay and I remember you saying the majority of guests will be sort of your age so they're obviously uh legal drinking age um but are there kind of will there be younger guests as well yeah so maybe we can think of yeah, non-alcoholic drinks and um, taking part of that okay fantastic and what transportation options would you like to offer your attendees going to and from the venue yeah, it can be anything really, it can be like kind of um, a special coach if you want to collect them at the nearby station, even the limousine if you really, really fancy, um, and then yeah, to bring them back to kind of a location or just simple taxi. Okay. Fantastic. Um, so I'll definitely look at a place that has easy transportation links where possible. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for coming today and answering these questions. I think I've got everything I need um, to be able to come up with some suggestions that we can kind of um, select together going forward. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some suggestions together. You've got my email, so whenever you have some time, um, set up a Pinterest board or send me some images of the kind of themes you want um, for your wedding, and I will arrange a consultation, the second one, um, whenever you feel ready, so we can get things flowing, um, and then we can go over there. How does that sound? Great, fantastic. Well, thank you so much again for coming i look forward to seeing you soon and i'm really excited um 
and playing with essentially so thank you so much for tuning in okay take care bye bye